Hi, I'm Dr. Jones Polly. I'm the current Transplant Hepatology Fellow at Houston Methodist Hospital. Today I'd like to speak to you about gender disparities and chronic liver disease. Let's start by defining the problem. Disparities are essentially differences in disease burden, disease outcomes, or other factors that may otherwise decrease optimal health outcomes in socially disadvantaged populations. Factors that lead to these differences include educational inequalities, socioeconomic inequalities, inadequate access to health care, and behavioral and individual factors. Recent studies have shown that alcohol use disorder is often underdiagnosed in women. Women tend to underutilize treatment programs designed specifically for alcohol and substance use and abuse. Recent studies have also shown that although men and women have about equal rates of fatty liver disease, women have higher rates of fibrosis or scarring of the liver. Unfortunately, women are also being diagnosed with cirrhosis about twice as often as men, at least for the past decade. Women are also spending a longer time on the wait list, which translates into increased uh, rate of death or mortality on the wait list. So how do we fix these differences? Well, it's going to be a team effort. I would encourage you to advocate for yourself and for your loved ones, raise questions uh, and concerns with your treatment team that help identify your issues and help us ultimately manage them. We are working actively to try to decrease these differences as much as possible. Um, recently, we developed the MELD 3.0, which is a scoring system specifically designed to help decrease the wait list time for women compared to men. Ultimately, there are changes that need to happen at the health policy and health system level, and I would encourage you to reach out to your local, state, and federal representatives to make your voice heard. Thank you.